The blessing is a place where the Holy Spirit starts to teach you how to finish an instruction that he gives you without um, giving heed to any snares of the enemy. The blessing is where the Holy Spirit trains you how to overcome weaknesses and how to perfect flaws. Because what is a flaw? It is a it is a side to a person that believes Satan. A flaw is a side to a person. It's, it's the element of a person that is in agreement with the devil. That's what a flaw is. So it's like it, there's many people that make so much emphasis on how they have flaws. But what they're telling you that they have agreement with the devil, <laughs> which is insane. Well, honesty is not insane, but it's insane if you let yourself remain in agreement with the devil after encountering the Holy Spirit. Because it should have converted you. So in the blessing, why the blessing makes one rich? Because the blessing makes one free. And that freedom qualifies you to be rich because the riches is entering into a free person that has no agreement with the devil. You see, the person doesn't have any agreement with the devil. So the blessing will make that person rich because when that riches get to them, God's agenda is going to be fulfilled through their hands. The Lord going to put in your power to sow a thousand dollar seed at one point in your life. Because God gives you money in bigger quantities, in bigger amounts, because he wants you to sow bountifully. He wants you to grow from milk sowing to meat sowing. For someone that is wealthy and rich, they don't think small. So they want to give you big. So therefore, they're putting your power to sow big. God's favorite sport is farming. He created the seed principle before he created angels. He created the seed principle before he created man. So the fact that man come into the earth and they find criticism against the seed principle, the seed principle was here even before them. <laughs> God used the seed principle in his history. The history of God was sowing. He introduced it to man because he had already invented this way to manifest what you want. He had already created this way to make something happen that you desire. So God wanted to see fishes, but he used the seed principle to manifest the fish. He wanted to see sand, but he used the seed principle to manifest the sand. He wanted to see man, so he used the seed principle to manifest man. He wanted to see salvation, deliverance in man's life, so he used the seed principle to manifest deliverance and salvation. Even the Son of God came through the law of the seed being sown and the harvest being reaped, that People will be made the sons of God. John chapter 1, verse 12, verse 11 and 12. He came to his own, his own receive him not, but to as many as receive him. This is the seed in the harvest. To as many as receive him, he gave unto them. There, there's the harvest. They received the seed principle, which is Jesus. He gave unto them the power. Here, here's the harvest to become the sons of God. I want you to show this. I want you to see this. The harvest always deals with the power of God being given to you. To as many as receive him, that's the seed. Jesus is the seed principle manifested in the New Testament. As to as many as receive the seed, he gave unto them the power. Now, you see that the power is locked up in the seed. So when people are sowing seed, the power of God in different 
categories, varieties is being released to them. So the seed is the power of God unto healing in the body. The seed is the power of God unto deliverance in the mind. The seed is the power of God unto riches and wealth being in your house. The seed is favor with God and with men. The seed. It carries power for different departments of everybody's life that needs help, deliverance, assistance, and favor. When you sow in, you live in the generosity of God. He won't let you be ashamed. He won't let you be ashamed. It don't matter what battle come up against you. It don't matter how bad it looks. It don't matter how embarrassing it looks. He won't let you be ashamed. When you sow in the seed, the Lord won't let you be ashamed. When you sow in the seed, he give you double for your shame. 